Disclaimer, the video you are about to see has content that contains swearing, substance referencing, violence, and or partial on-screen nudity. If you are a person under 13 years of age, do not watch this video by order of COPPA. In general, if you are over 13 but are sensitive, you may exit this video and find a nice wholesome video to watch. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey there guys, Jordan here, back with another reaction video. The video I'll be reacting to will be Danganronpa F Shattered Hope, Chapter 1, Episode 1, Unfamiliar Territory, Unfamiliar Ultimates. Now the previous one I reacted to was just the prologue, however this is the official first episode. The second episode is right here, but we'll react to that another time. So for now, let's take a look at the official first episode of this uh, ambitious fan-made series. Have all of the arrangements been made? Yeah, the Academy's been built with their vision in mind. Would you like to see? What's going on here? do you think I came all this way? Then I'll take you there immediately, sir. Who are they? It's exactly how they wanted it. They'll be completely isolated from the rest of the world. The destination they're aiming for may take some time. So, uh, now that this is done, should we, uh, begin transferring the others? Others? Of course. I hear they're losing their patience. They are? Then we'll start. Right away. So they're in on a two, huh? Alright, here's the intro. Enigma. Moraiteru. Cancel. Cross. Rocks. Rock. Anon. Scarlet. These intros never get old. After Monokuma left us, I rebooted my e-handbook. 
The same sound echoed throughout the gym as some of the others did the same. What caught my attention first was the code name chosen for me. I find myself confined to this academy with complete strangers. If that's not strange enough, the memory of our names have been stolen. The icing on the cake were supposedly ultimates. But as I looked closer at my e-handbook, no ultimate talent was displayed. Nothing but question marks. Oh, so he doesn't have a talent, huh? Knocking on Hell's Door. Ah, so that's the name of chapter one. The bear's finally gone. I thought I was gonna shit my pants. Thank you for letting us know. Whoa! Not gonna lie, these rules are making me kinda excited. Um, I'm not sure this is something to be excited about. I'm finding this hard to understand. Who would do this to us? Whoever they are, they certainly put a lot of thought into everything. No. It doesn't matter who, we're not gonna kill each other regardless. Of course. True, I won't take orders from someone who hides behind a fucking toy. Well, well. Aren't you a feisty one? Hmm. Yes. This girl excludes a tough exterior. Perhaps I could make her my apprentice one day. Whatever. Apprentice of what? Being a loudmouth? You! Loudmouth? Are you? Yes. Yes, I'm insulting. Aha! Are you complimenting my incredible larynx? I am overjoyed by your kind words. Bless you, child. I'll hurt you. Someone hold me back before I hurt him? Enough. There are more pressing matters at hand. <sighs> I'll show him! Yeah, like showing that bear who's the real boss around here. In irritation, the defiant man raised his e-handbook above his head as if readying himself to smash it. Isn't that against regulation, though? I wouldn't do that. If you do, you'll be breaking the rules. Exactly. It's far too dangerous. That became clear when Monokuma launched his spear. I know that. It's just... Shit. <sighs> Calm yourself. I understand that you're frustrated, but for now, take a moment to breathe. Hmm. Speaking of that spear... When you warned our would-be victim, you said you had checked the rules. But when Monokuma was picking out his target, how did you know what was coming next? Did you notice the spear before the rest of us, or is there more to this than meets the eye? Simple. During the countdown, all of you had your eyes fixated on Monokuma's predicament. After checking the rules, I hastily looked around the room for any signs of danger. Oh, that's nice of him. I noticed the spear was protruding from the wall behind the podium. Very well. I assumed as much. Sure you did. 
With that out of the way, I think it's time the cause of that incident apologized. Interesting. You also reacted in a most peculiar way when Monokuma first appeared. So I think we should hear both your apology and explanation before we discuss our plans. Um, instead of responding, the blue-haired girl approached. thinking of those around me. I hope you can forgive me. Hey, it's not your uh, fault. It's okay. D -d Don't worry about me. What's your code name? Uh, not sure. Rissy. It's Rissy. Oh? Moving closer to her, the well-dressed man had switched on Rissy's e-handbook. Looks like I owe you one, Rissy. The code name's Rox. You. As for you. Thanks. For preventing what could have been. Um. Oh, uh, me was just doing what anyone would do. Think nothing of it. Nah. Not everyone would throw themselves in front of danger like that. Me guess. <laughs> it's reassuring to see people getting along. I'm gonna be sick! You think? Cause they almost barfed a bucket load! Explain. And with that settled, it's time to explain yourself, Rox. What did you know about Monokuma? The thing is... Right. About that? I can't really say too much. At least not yet. You keep secrets from the rest of us? That's a bona fide recipe for disaster. No. It's a secret worth keeping, considering the situation, trust me. Let's just say I thought I could end the game before it got started. Guess I underestimated the bear, my bad. Don't you get it? It doesn't take a smart ass to figure out why you won't tell us anything. You're keeping quiet because you think one of us could be in on this, aren't you? No fighting. Now, now, dear, let's not get hostile again. I'm sure Rox will tell us what she knows when the time is right, correct, dear? Sure thing. I won't deny my curiosity, but I'll be patient. Distrusting one another won't work in our favor. Now then. Now back to our plan. Our next move should be to explore this academy. We may discover an exit if we cover as much ground as possible. <laughs> an exit? Not sure if you caught the bear's drift, but I'm pretty sure we're trapped, dude. True. Yes, Monokuma did say that. But we have arrived here from somewhere, no? I am uncertain. If we are to discover this exit, how would we proceed from there? We are mid to the Arctic. Do we have any idea what that means? Oh! It means we're stranded with nowhere to go? Correct, fool! It means we are without Earth's precious, bountiful creations! The grass, the trees, my reason for existing! It's so disheartening. But if we find a boat or something, I'm sure we could sail towards somewhere like that. No. I appreciate the sentiment, city dweller, but I am afraid it would be too late for me by then. How so? Too late? I will explain. You see, I survived by absorbing. I'll be going. We all agree that looking for an exit is a good idea then? Wonderful. Huh? <laughs> oh, 
I'll be taking my leave as well. Oh, and rocks? You might want to watch yourself, knowing things that others don't can be disadvantages. It is true that mother warns me of humans like you, not a care in the world for your fellow man. There, there. I'm sure we can help you somehow. I'm not sure. Hmm. It's likely all the exits are sealed. Ha! With the likes of me here, those walls will come crashing down! You're feeling better already? Huh? But what about the Arctic? You just said... I must act! If I must swim my way to safety, let it be now while I still retain some of my power! To prove his strength, the tattooed man strode to a nearby wall. Diana, the Roman goddess of nature, I implore you to lend me your power. Now, let us take aim! Holy hell! That did... Absolutely nothing! Oh boy. Well, he tried. D does that hurt? N no! Not at all! Okay, step aside, big man. Let a professional handle this. Next to step up the plate came the cape girl with a gleam in her eye. She steadied her breathing. All right, get ready for my secret technique. Here it goes. It's not doing anything, oh. is it? Holy hell! That did... Absolutely nothing! Yep, called it. Uh, you people are so embarrassing. Uh, uh, are you okay? Yep. Doing just fine. But... Just fine. Is that deja vu, I feel? Why must you taunt me, structure of man?! If only the nymphs were here to support me. Uh, hey, let's hit it together. Uh, maybe then we can give it up. Never! <sighs> Both of the stubborn warriors fought valiantly against the formidable wall. But in the end, nothing happened, huh? I, I cannot believe this is happening. <laughs> we were too weak. <laughs> Worry not, girl. It is only you who is weak. I simply need to regain my full power. No, man. You're just not strong enough. If you trained harder... <laughs> Ridiculous! Look at my muscles! Magnificent! Yours, on the other hand, are flabby! Hey, you shouldn't say that to a girl. Oh, oh yeah? Well, at least I don't smell like fucking <laughs> You shouldn't say that to a guy. That is tiger feces, you uncultured swine! Ew. Ooh, wow. This is really pathetic. <sighs> Honestly, dears, I don't think this is worth the effort. You think? It's clear that Monokuma went the extra mile in keeping us here. So, on that note, I'll be in my room if anyone needs me. 
If any of you boys or girls want some quiet time, give me a knock, okay? I don't know about you guys, but my pants are suddenly feeling... tired. Oh, boy. What the fuck? I'm blowing this joint too. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> You're going to chase after big tits, aren't you? <laughs> big tits? No. Don't lie to me. Later. Ugh, disgusting perv. Ah, so he's off to chase the woman with the large buttocks. Then I shall join him on his pursuit! I shall use my fantastic speed to locate her first! If you want to race, at least give yourself a challenge, man! Those two recovered fast. Um, before we look for a way out, isn't there something else we should do? There is? Then why didn't you say something before? Sorry, it's just that... What what? Brady can't hear ya! He's starving. Is he serious? Uh, do you ever shut up about food? I'm sick of hearing about it. You feel sick? And you must be really hungry. Uh, I'm tired of all of you! Let's go search for food together. Come on. Up. Oh, before me goes. Will you be okay now? Um, Rissy? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you so much for saving me before. <laughs> no worries. Me's leaving now, so stay safe. Ah, uh, so we gotta look around? I hate effort. Why are you gonna have to live mm, with it. it? I'm gonna shoot the breeze somewhere. I'm sure the rest of you can handle this anyways. Huh. That last guy hasn't said much, has he? Wonder what his deal is. Hey, rocks? Yo, what's up? Do you think you could help me look around? You sure? I almost got you killed. Forget about that. You couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right, you know. I am still a bit shaken, so it would be nice to have someone by my side. That's true. You really want me to help? Yeah, why not? Well, I suppose you do look like you need some toughening up. Does that mean... Sure. I'm indebted to you, after all. Thank you so much! Um, I want to thank you and that twin guy, but I'm not sure how. Oh, I know. I'm not too bad at arts and crafts. I could make you something. Oh, that sounds nice. Focus on twin, not me. I did nothing but cause you trouble. That's true. As Rox and Rissy made their way toward the exit of the gym... Roxy's gaze met with mine. What about you, Easy on the Ice? Need some help exploring? No. Oh, no. Nah. I'd prefer to go at it solo. Shame. Suit yourself. Let's go, Shorty. Shorty? Really? Hey, I'm not that short! Yes, I better join them. You're certainly the quiet type. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't offend you. I just wanted to ask if you were feeling okay. As good as I can be. Understandable. But don't be too glum. Remember, none of us have to play this game. And what if we can't find a way out? Then we stay here until help arrives. 
Do you think that's possible? And that someone will come for us? If they don't anytime soon, then we can wait it out. I'm sure. After all, anything's better than resorting to murder. And I agree. But what if we have to wait longer than we expect? It could be days or even years. I'll still wait. Would you really be okay with that, though? Don't you have someone who would miss you? Look, just try and forget about your past for now. Think about everyone here instead. Some of us might have people waiting for us. But killing others to reunite with them isn't the way to go about it. Don't misunderstand. I'm not going to do anything rash. But I'm unsure if everyone's prepared to wait that long. Well, no one was ready for all of this, so I expect it to be hard. But if we can somehow band together and abstain from this game, then I think we can achieve anything. I just hope there's food and water here. Otherwise, we'll die regardless. <laughs> uh. Work together, and we can achieve anything, huh? Alright, fine. You've sold me. Let's do our best to survive this. But we won't roll over and wait to be rescued. Got it? We'll take the fight to the Mastermind instead. Oh yeah? Do you think we can? They can't be unstoppable, can they? No one is. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I take it back. No waiting around. Now I better get moving. We've got an exit to find after all. It was nice talking to you. Good luck searching. Would he really be prepared to wait for years? Is he just that noble, or maybe there's no one waiting for him? Ugh, what am I doing? I shouldn't be standing around, I need to look around too. Do I believe my own words? That I can take on the mastermind? Of course not. But I have to try and force myself to. If I don't, all hope will be lost. If we help each other, we might be able to leave. And if we leave... I'll get to be with her again. Her? I wonder who her is. Some of the others would have already made a start by now. I should do my part to help as well. And while I'm at it, this will be a good time to introduce myself to everyone. Oh. Nice map system. Oh. I thought you were with the hungry guy. Oh? Him? I tricked the dumbass into searching on his own. Really? You did? What did you say to him? Good riddance. Just told him I'm cursed by a hungry demon which absorbs all the food it lays eyes on. So... And I'm guessing he ran for the hills? He screamed first, then he ran for the hills. Got it. Go away. What do you want? Can't you see I'd rather be by myself? <laughs> Girls with an attitude. Totally my type. I stopped by to introduce myself. It says here my codename's Enigma. Cancel. Excuse me? My code name. It's Cancel, I guess. I'm the ultimate diviner. Cancel? The ultimate diviner? Wait. The ultimate diviner? Wait, 
Does that mean you can predict when we'll get out of here? No, dumbass. If it were that easy, don't you think I'd have done that as soon as I remembered my talent? Huh. I thought Ultimates were supposed to be the best of the best. Listen. Someone has a sharp tongue? I'll explain. Divination is using various forms of rituals to gain insight into a question or situation. Really? However, it involves using systematic methods, so these things take time. Hmm, I see. For some forms, I need tools to perform my magic. Do you see any tarot cards, Norse runes, or tea leaves? Uh, How about... What about those cards in your hair? Would those do the job? <laughs> Merely an accessory. Ah. Uh, I suppose there are other methods I could try, like palm reading. Then, why not? Palm reading must be an easy one. It could be worth a shot. Really, no? Is that what you want, though? <laughs> hmm. To tell you fools, you're destined for death sooner rather than later. No thanks. Too many babies that way. If we can't find a way out, then I'll do my best to use my abilities. For now, though, not a chance. I suppose I can see where she's coming from. Being here is bad enough, but knowing you'll die here, that's on another level. Then again, surely she could... So? What's your talent? I'm not sure. Alright, oh, honestly, I'm not sure. Huh? You don't know? It's no good. My e-handbook doesn't include my talent. They're question marks instead. Enigma, the ultimate whatever. Strange. I wonder why the bear would keep that information from you. As soon as I opened my report card, my memories of my talent came flooding back. Do you mean... Report card? What's that? Just take a look. It's a feature on the e-handbook. Take a look at it, it might help. I suppose it's worth a shot. Enigma, height 5'10", age 21, blood type AB, weight 145 pounds, date of birth August 10th, likes motorbiking, rock music, dislikes horses, bagels, special notes, ultimate whatever. Nothing, just more question marks. Well that's no good. Cancel. Age, 20. Height, 5'4". Weight, 115 pounds. Blood type, O positive. Date of birth, November 24th. Likes, reading, horror. Dislikes, puns, moths. Special notes, ultimate diviner. Hey, the others are blocked out. Why is that? Don't ask me. How is someone doing all of this? So many questions. <sighs> it makes you wonder if we've forgotten anything else. For me, I remember the basics. Where I grew up, my family dog, my family, and then there's my old school. Oh, 
And my favorite movie? My favorite food? My old class in college? Favorite color? The ideal perfume of choice? This chick sure likes to talk. I didn't think she'd be the type. What brand of coffee I prefer? The time I bought my first dress? I know, I'll pretend I'm listening. Yeah, that'll work. Sure it will. I remembered my favorite color too, actually. I thought that was like totally basic and weird. I also remembered my favorite flavor of tea and like, I didn't even know I liked tea. I couldn't remember. The because ultimate I, like, diviner. More like the ultimate enough, chatterbox. I I visualize, like my whole wardrobe, which is pretty weird since it's not like I have access to it from here. Unless they put it all in my room, and honestly, I hope they didn't, because I don't want them digging through my closet. That's, like, nasty. Did I mention... <laughs> He's asleep. <sighs> hey, are you listening to me? Guess that answers your question. Uh, are you ignoring me? What? What did you say? I should go. Right. That's probably for the best. Yeah. Man, this girl really likes to talk. Oh, I have an idea for when I speak to her again. I'll bring a pillow. Yeah, that'll work. Really? Ice. Of all the things. I suppose Monokuma wanted to keep the Arctic theme consistent. That means... So the rules were accurate. It doesn't look like we have access to the second floor. Go away. Excuse me? Why are you still here? Move on, fucker. Oh, that's <laughs> rude. Ah, uh, I feel like we're bonding already, Cancel. <sighs> Oh. Bathrooms. If Monokuma wants to keep us here, it only makes sense that we'd have these. Hiya. Huh? Whoa. Whoa there. Settle down, Jumpy. Didn't mean to scare you like that. I didn't hear you coming at all. Yep. Yep. That's cause I'm real stealthy, like a ninja. Um, uh, ninja? Double yep. I lost this eye in a recon mission in the Alps after all. Oh, so she lost an eye. It's an epic story, wanna hear it? <sighs> I guess that depends. How long is the story? Hmm. Well, the last guy I told it to listen to me for 12 days. What? 12 days? Quick, I need an escape plan. Uh, I'm what? with you, buddy. Wait, did you hear that sound? Huh? Hear what now? Over there. It sounded like a scream came from down that way. <sighs> a scream? You serious? Damn, if that's the case, someone might be in trouble. I'm sorry, man. I gotta go. We'll talk later. She's gone. Good job, Enigma. <laughs> nice one. I'm already calling myself Enigma. I guess it's all I have to go on for now. But of all the names, why Enigma? It's strange. I remember my past, except for my name. Why is my code name Enigma specifically? Phew. False alarm. You hearing doing okay? Oh. <laughs> You're back already? That was fast. Huh? Yep. Why? Something wrong? Uh, no. Uh, no. Not at all. Anyway... Back to my story. 
So, what's your code name? Huh? Huh? Oh, but my story. Uh. Mine's Enigma. You think it's cool, right? Oh, mysterious. Uh, yeah, I dig it. Nice to meet you, Enigma Chief. Call me Yaxi. I'm the ultimate boxer. Yaxi, the ultimate boxer. Enigma. Chi? Story time! Now the introductions are out of the way, back to my store! So... Uh, how did you become the ultimate boxer, Yaxi? That's an incredible talent! I gotta say... You're kinda quirky, Enigma Chi, you know that? I like it! Hmm, but let me see... Have you heard of the Iron Maiden? No... The Iron Maiden? Can't say I have. Don't you watch TV? Iron Maiden is the name of the press gave me. Really? The press, huh? I watch TV often. I'm a fan of boxing too, but I don't recognize you. Hmm. Guess the memory thingy affected more than we thought. Strange though. How does someone wipe memories in the first place? Yeah, that does sound a bit strange in hindsight. It is strange. If Yax is a sports celebrity, I should know about her, but I don't. Funny. Hmm, gets the old noggin ticking, don't it? Oh well, nothing we can do about it now, I suppose. Let's continue where we left off. Ugh. Better think of something quick. It didn't take the media long to name my finishing move blow. They call it the Iron Maiden's Execution. I use it when I have my opponent pinned in the corner of the ring. Really? I jab at them over and over until their defense breaks or they just fall. Oh, is that the move you used against the wall in the gym? <laughs> yeah, usually I'd have no problem smashing a wall to pieces. Is she for real? Surely she can't destroy a wall with her fist. I'm not sure what's going on around here, but it's fishy. You don't say. Say, what's your talent, Enigma Chi? I'm honestly not sure. My e-handbook doesn't display it. I wonder if I'm even an ultimate to begin with. Yeah, that's uh, true. It doesn't matter. Being called an ultimate is just a silly title anyway. No, I'm unsure if most people would agree with that. Yeah. And that doesn't matter either. To me, everyone is equal until proven otherwise. If people think differently, then let them believe what they want. Huh. Thanks, Jaxi. Anyway, enough of that. We gotta start my epic story! Oh boy. Uh, uh, where are you going? Oh, it's awesome! I promise! Yeah, he's not taking any chances. Twelve day stories aside, it's nice to know we have someone like Yaxi here. Yaxi, height 5'8". Age 22, blood type B positive, weight 162 pounds, date of birth April 11th, likes heartfelt talks, cool clothes, dislikes the ocean, chipped nails, special notes, ultimate boxer. Alright, there's three so far. Oh, an incinerator, I guess to dispose of trash. 
Well, that's what you would typically use it for. But there's nothing typical about this place. Um, found anything unusual in this room? Indeed. Yes, yes, I understand. Um, uh, are you talking to me? <laughs> Very well. I only pray that the boy is prepared. Um... What? What's wrong? Uh, are you... you shouting? I have been instructed to banish you from my presence! What? This will only take a moment, boy! Prepare yourself! Huh? Acteon! Bless me with the power of the hunt to be rid of this uncultured swine! C calm down, big guy. Ah! Why is it not working? Uh... What's going on? Boy! <laughs> yeah? Can you sense the nymphs here? N nymphs? I don't understand. Hmm. I see. Then it is as I feared. Phew. I think he's finally calmed down. Actually, it would be more accurate to say he's powered down. It appears the power of nature continues to be absent. I don't understand. The power of nature? What do you mean? <clears throat> this is a comment I have come to expect from a city dweller. You have added yet another reason why I cannot stand conversing with those such as yourself. Is everyone here crazy, or is it just me? Hey. I just came by to introduce myself. My code name's Enigma. What's yours? Aha! Enigma, a name fitting for someone s uh, as sheltered as you. Um. But it's not my real name. Swine. Yes, I can see it in your eyes. You know nothing of nature. Your parents were cruel, child. Cruel. Hmm? What is it? Do you wish for me to educate this boy of small stature? Nah, it's not me. This guy's insane. All right, I will do as you suggest. Listen here, Blueberry. Huh? Uh, blueberry? Indeed! Yes, your hair is colored like that of a blueberry. It is one of my favorite fruits. Nature is the reason we humans breathe. Nature is the most beautiful aspect of our lives. Without nature, we would cease to... I think I get the picture. Let me take a random guess. Your talent has something to do with nature, right? You! He is on to us! Yes, you are correct. It seems I have no choice but to tell him. Bright for a city dweller, aren't you? You are correct! My code name is Grisp! I am the ultimate survivalist! Grisp, the ultimate survivalist? What does someone need to do to earn that title? Wait, why am I still talking to this madman? Run, Enigma, run! I will explain. To be at one with the harsh climates, to scale a mountain of any size, to defeat a pack of lions with one finger. Yeah, I'm not sure that will do for anyone. These are but a few of my talents. 
Not to mention my spiritual connection with nature and its deities. Right. However, that is something your small brain could never understand. To be indoors is so suffocating. <clears throat> I can feel my immense power zapping away by the second. I'm sure it won't be long. Just try to, Just get, try a to get a hold until we get out of here. Ah. Uh. I can only pray that is the case, Blue Bear. My code name's Enigma. <laughs> Blueberry sounds better. This conversation's so exhausting. I don't plan on spending enough time here to build up a mountain of trash anyway. Right. Mountains, you say? I have climbed many a mountain in my young life. The first tale brings me back. Grisp, age 25, height 6'6, six, six. weight 210 pounds, blood type O negative, date of birth April 6, likes twigs koalas, dislikes broken twigs, man-made items, special notes, ultimate survivalist. Taking a good look around, I can't help but wonder about those. Hmm. Who's that? They're oddly terrifying. Not bad. Really? It's not half bad if you ask me. Oh, I did it. Right. Well? Tell me this indeed. Does your room look as if it was specifically for you? Prepared. I suppose. Now that you mention it. Yeah, it does. The posters on the wall, the candy on the table. Sweets, you say? They left me with a bowl of cashew nuts, a favorite snack of mine. Do you recall that silver-haired man had a sandwich when we first met? That must have been what they left him. Without a doubt, the perpetrators of this game did their research on us. I can't believe it. I still can't believe this is all happening. Hmm. While you're here, what's your code name? Hi. It's Enigma. May I? Could I spare a few moments of your time, Enigma? Sure. I'm in no hurry. Tell me. Question. Are you comfortable with taking a risk? <laughs> Last time I took a risk, I was rejecting one of the most popular girls in school. Scary stuff. What's this? How about the kind we faced during the sacrifice game? Oh. oh, that. I was hoping to forget that ever happened. I understand. After all, the voice implied it knew the most important aspect of our lives. To allow the most vital thing to disappear is somewhat worrisome. It's akin to when a gunman places the barrel to the head of your loved one. 
They ask you to choose you or them who should die. No. Which is exactly why I couldn't write anything down. The countdown didn't, didn't give me much time to process everything, but even so, the thought of, I don't want to think about it. Your response is a fair one. However, listen to this. Yes. The sacrifice game granted to us is a unique opportunity. And when an opportunity comes knocking, you should welcome it with open arms. I'm not sure. Opportunity? I'm not sure I understand. The truth is... However, put us here wants us to struggle. They want us ex to experience unease. So, if there's ever a next time, cast your fears aside. Don't give Monokuma what he wants. You make it sound easy. Yeah. In my profession, I need to be prepared for any situation. What do you do for a living? More than you can imagine. I'm the ultimate entrepreneur. In here, you can refer to me as Cross. Cross, the ultimate entrepreneur. My work is similar to leading an army. If your enemy is strong, you mustn't show them fear. Now, moving on. What talents do you possess? I'm not entirely sure. My handbook doesn't have that information. It doesn't. <laughs> How interesting. Perhaps you were never an ultimate to begin with? Maybe. Alright, you can go now. Just think about what I said. Thanks, but I doubt I can bluff my way through this. My focus is finding a way out of here. Then by all means, proceed with your search. It's hard to get a read on this guy. If he's implying he can hide his emotions, it makes me wonder what he's feeling deep down. The dorms comprise of two floors, the bottom for the girls and the top for the guys. The lounge area looks beautiful. The effort from whoever's running the game keeps surprising me. Yeah, that's true. Did you come to see me, Enigma? Um, hello? Oh, hey. Um, no, I... Hold on. Did you see Enigma? How do you know my code name? Well, of course I know it's silly. How? Did one of the others tell you? Nope. Then, how? Are you... Sure, you want to know. Um... Confused and slightly nervous, I gave her a nod. Well, that's because... <laughs> like a predator catching its prey, the busty woman clenched her hand around my forearm. Whoa, whoa. Hey! No, your arm is... So muscular. Come with me for a moment. No! Wait! Ignoring my pleas, she tossed me into a room. Oh my. Hey, what are you doing? Uh. When faced with her seductive gaze, I felt powerless. 
Paying no mind to my reaction, she rubbed her fingers up and down my neck, pressing her chest against mine as she did. So, you want to know how I know your code name, Eddie? As she teased me, she brought her face closer, so much so that I could feel her breath in my ear. Well, that's easy. It's because... Hmm? I'm the mastermind. What? The mastermind? Oh. that they didn't include uh it's weird that they didn't include cross or scarlet's profiles but maybe they'll appear in the next one was the first episode of chapter one now as i said a chap episode two is already completed but we'll react to that another day but anyway uh well this this series does certainly pique my interest and i am looking forward to seeing how the rest of it goes well i hope you enjoyed reacting this video with me so until then this is Jordan, and I'll see you all next time.